This is Commando Raid for the Atari 2600 from 1982 from U.S. Games Corporation, which is a subsidiary of the Quaker Oats Company. The object of the game is to protect your buildings and cannon from enemy paratroopers who happen to be androids. Androids fueled by oatmeal. I made up the fact that they were powered by oatmeal. That's ridiculous. They're powered by anger. But U.S. Games Corporation was a subsidiary of the Quaker Oats Company. I, I didn't actually make that part up. Just remember that next time you buy oatmeal. It doesn't matter. They're just some pixelated stick figures with triangles over them representing parachutes, and you shoot them for points. That's Atari. And that's why we love it. Triangles. They can represent so many things. Mountains, trees, parachutes, diamonds. You name it. Triangles can do it on Atari. You can also shoot the helicopters, which scores more points and prevents a few android paratroopers from attacking you. Commando Raid is not a bad game, but it's not one of the most memorable Atari 2600 games. This game plays with the joystick controllers, but I think it would be better with the paddle controllers. You don't have really good control over this thing. It's easy to shoot all the way to the left or all the way to the right or straight up. Anything in between is difficult. We're in trouble now. Did you see what just happened on the left? When enough android paratroopers land on your building, the structure itself suffers damage and then the androids start digging down beneath your buildings making their way towards your cannon to destroy it that's actually pretty cool this is a fun game for 10 or 15 minutes at a time a lot of atari games are like that i thought that it got repetitive quickly but if you want to play commando rage you can find it out there fairly easily it does not cost you all that much and it's nice of the androids to attack during a sunset. It looks nicer that way. Or it's a sunrise. Maybe it's Red Dawn with androids. If only Patrick Swayze and Charlie Sheen were here to save us. But wait! Every 10,000 points repairs a building. Whoa! I thought we were screwed there, but we're still alive. Yes, Commando Raid is not a bad game, but it's not a great game. It's somewhere in between, I think. Maybe it's your favorite game, or at least it was 20-some years ago. The beauty is, it still can be your favorite game again, although Yar's Revenge is far superior. And remember, the next time you eat oatmeal, think of Android Paratroopers.